Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm running late. Uh, welcome to Morning Devotions. I uh, couldn't go to sleep last night for some reason. I was really tired, but I just couldn't, you know, fall asleep. And, and then uh, Kitty woke me up several times. I had to go to the bathroom several times, so I didn't really sleep that good. And then it seemed like... Uh, Finally, I got settled down, I guess, three or three or four or something like that. But, I mean, I was, I was sleeping a little bit in between, you know, just 20 minutes here, 30 minutes, and I'd wake up. And so, finally, when I went to sleep, I didn't wake up until, like, just a few minutes ago, and it's, like, 9.30. <laughs> I, I've never slept that late, I don't think. But uh, I'm feeling about the same. I knew I would today. Uh, Hopefully after today, maybe it'll ease off. I just feel uh, beat up and tired. Okay. See if I can get going. I haven't even had any coffee yet. Um, Becky has an upper respiratory infection. Pray she's better soon. Rita Ross's son has been having seizures. Pray for him and Rita and his dad. Danielle Rogers needs prayer. Her left side of her upper back and shoulder and neck has two knots, causing bad pain. Enlightened by grace for you's daughter has leukemia and is getting infusions for it. Pray for complete restoration of all her blood cells and to stay in remission. Beth's mom, Jenny, is still in the hospital. She has COVID, pneumonia, and a UTI. Beth and her daughter, they got to speak to her uh, the other day, but then now she's in ICU because she kept taking her breathing mask off. And so they've, they've had to restrain her and put her in ICU uh, so they can, you know, do the right things for her. She's, I guess, combative and stuff. I don't know, uh, but you gotta do what they say. I know you don't like to sometimes, but maybe she's, you know, she's older and things, she's confused. She, you know, so they can't talk to her, in other words, now, and that's upsetting. Jan from New York City has an unspoken request. Patricia has to quit smoking cigs a month before her surgery. She has one pack left, and she's quitting. Pray she doesn't have any problems. And pray for it to rain where Karina lives in California. Okay, you can tell I'm in Ephesians a lot. For the, you see all the writing on it? I use Ephesians a lot. And our Bible verses are from Ephesians 4, 4 through 16. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope and when you were called. One Lord, one faith, <coughs> one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ appointed it. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who... Descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and be blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Let me see if that was it. This guy said how much writing here. Through 16, okay. Why did I not, why did I write it way over here? Let's see, I'm not really awake, I did the wrong one. 
Okay. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So that is right through 16. I know what I did. I looked at this next page or something. Okay. Got that. I'll wake up sometime, y'all. Okay. Our, our devotion today is entitled Preach or Plow. According to the family legend, two brothers, one named Billy and one other named Melvin, were standing on the family's dairy farm one day when they saw an airplane doing some sky riding. The boys watched as the plane sketched out the letters GP overhead. Both brothers decided what they, that what they saw had meaning for them. One thought it meant go preach. The other read it as go plow. Later, one of the boys, Billy Graham, dedicated himself to preaching the gospel, becoming an icon of evangelism. His brother, Melvin, went on to faithfully run the family dairy farm for many years. <coughs> Sky riding signs aside, if God did call Billy to preach and Melvin to plow, as seems to be the case, they both honored God through their vocations. While Billy had a long preaching career, his success doesn't mean that his brother's obedience to his calling to plow was any less important. While God does assign some to be in what we call full-time ministry, that doesn't mean those in other jobs and roles aren't doing something just as important. In either case, as Paul said, each part should do its work. That means honoring Jesus by faithfully using the gifts he's given us. When we do, whether we go preach or go plow, we can make a difference for Jesus wherever we serve or work. How can you use your gifts to honor God in your vocation? How can you encourage others you know so they can use, they too can use their calling as a way to serve Jesus? Help me God to be used right where you put me. Help me to see that my words, actions, and work ethic can profoundly affect others. And Lord, I want to pray this morning for everybody on the prayer list. Please help all of them with, with their different needs. And help everybody that's been affected by the virus or the hurricane, Lord. And help the people in California to get some rain. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope that I'm using everything I have available to me to uh, help others through through my uh, morning devotions. I want to do them uh, no matter how I feel. Uh, I've done them in the hospital more than once, you know, and uh, it's just something I feel like I was that I was called to do that I'm you know able to do to my capability. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy it, and I hope that it helps everyone in some way or another. I know it helps me a lot. I get a lot out of them, too. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And please press that like button. Uh -oh. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with everybody in the world you know. Uh, gosh, I don't even know. I don't even have a plan right now. <laughs> I'll have to sit down and think about it and everything. I'll let y'all know in uh, my take a walk with me. I'll need to drink a little coffee first and get out there and loosen up and walk a little bit. See what's going on with the garden. It's nice and sunny. So, uh, if you haven't watched Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews uh, yet, definitely watch it. It was a great show. Um, I also had a really good haul yesterday. Uh, if y'all want to check it out. Um, and uh, and uh, finally did the Halloween Playhouse. Uh, it was a kitty's corner. Uh, Scully, I was able to make him up look pretty good. He's got him a, a nice mustache and some glasses on. So he was styling and profiling when he did the jokes yesterday. So check it out, everybody. Uh, 
it was pretty funny. <laughs> so we'll see what I can get into today. I'll, like I said, let me wake up and figure out what's going on. I know we got to take Logan to his uh, therapy today. So everybody have a good one, and I'll see you later. God bless.